Hello, my name is Ondar. I'm uh, working in cars for Kuzey Doğa Society. Uh, last spring, and this is my friend Ahmed. Uh, he's a wildlife vet, uh, but now he is doing his military obligation, so he is uh, in the army, and he will be finishing in May. What well, ne next May? <laughs> ne yeah. Next May. Uh, last spring, uh, one of the villagers called me. Uh, get got in touch with Ahmed since he has got a vet website, wildlife vet website on the internet. Many people can reach him and ask about uh, what, what about wildlife animals, the injured ones or the sick animals. And since he is in the military obligation, he is in the army, he called me and then uh, uh, there, there is a villager that who has got two baby wolves. And I got in touch with the villager and he's, he's one of the guys that in his village, uh, the mother the mother wolf was killed by villagers and the two babies were taken by villagers and he convinced the villagers and took them and he would like to make them b revert to the nature but uh, he didn't know so he got in touch with Ahmed and Ahmed got in touch with me I, I went and took the baby wolves and on the phone Ahmed told me what I'm supposed to do and I take them to the vet faculty here in Kafkas University uh, unfortunately, those guys are only know about cows and sheep and those kind of animals, and they're not experienced about the wildlife animals. So, uh, since they are uh, assistant professors, and Ahmed is a, a is a graduate student, he didn't want them to he he didn't want to say something what they supposed they they should do, uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, they examined the. the You know, uh, so uh, they examined the wolves, uh, give some medications, but the, unfortunately that day we lost the uh, male one. There, there, there was one male and one female. Unfortunately we lost the male one and then uh, there was only one. Then in other province, the neighboring one, there, we heard that there were two baby wolves. The same story, the villagers killed the mother and take the babies and they were taken by the director of forestry and environment and Ahmed uh, called me back and said that uh, these these guys have a, a, a group group attitude so we should put them those babies together and and I convinced the villager and we sent the female wolf to them and uh, unfortunately uh, they, they they couldn't finish up and we lost three babies and that's was something where that's very common there's something very common here in this part of Turkey especially in the springtime when the wolves have babies uh, uh, I I heard a lot a lot of stories about villagers killed the mother and taking the babies and I know just four but uh, I in the same time last spring I read about I read on the newspapers about other baby wolves were taken by uh, the villagers in Ardahan is another neighboring province here and Artvin and here so uh, it is it would be very important to revert these animals to nature if or there there, there is the need to, to be an environmental education to for to to the villagers because you know what they do is unacceptable. Uh, even if they uh, take the babies, uh, it's, it's not unfortunately possible to take them back to the nature again. And every individual, especially like a species, like a species like a wolf, is very important for nature and nature protection. So they should be uh, they should be revert to the nature. Uh, Ahmed has succeeded uh, before three babies. 
three baby wolves. Same story, but in, in, in other part of Turkey. He, he took care of them on his own for four months and he succeeded to revert them back to the nature and it was a very success story and they adopted the nature and the wildlife again. Uh, he, has, he has monitored them for, a, for another year and they, were, they did very good. So uh, it, was a, it was our unlock that he was in the military, in the army. So uh, unfortunately we lost those three, ba four babies. Next time we won't lose. Yeah, next time we won't lose. Ahmed is coming back from the military <laughs> in the springtime. So whenever we have those babies, Ahmed will sure take care of them. And we are, we are, uh... <laughs> Get the tea. Don't let the tea go bad. <laughs> yeah, next year we would like to maybe have a uh, small center here for a lot of life vet. And Ahmed will support us so that we will make many wolves back to the nature. This is the personal website of Ahmed, uh, his wildlife website. That's how people can reach him. Uh, he's, he's some kind of person who is interested in a wildlife veterinary in Turkey. So the, the, these are the wolves that I was talking about, which, uh, which revert to the nature by success. Uh, three of them, as you see. Now they are doing fine in the nature. Freedom to wolves nice. in Turkish.